Well, you might be forgiven for not immediately identifying this as a work by Ivon Hitchens. First of all, it's a watercolour and not an oil. And uh, secondly, it's pretty, pretty realistic. But the point of uh, talking about it at all is that it's a, a painting done in the early 20s, when he himself was in his late 20s, uh, of the very area in West Sussex which he was going to live in 20 years later. So when he moved from London in 1940 out to West Sussex, this wasn't new territory for him. On the contrary, it was a territory full of memories and associations. And these memories and associations fed into his painting. So that what he painted was not just what he saw, but what he felt and what he remembered. That's very important. So this is actually, I can't tell you exactly where it is, but you can obviously, you can see the downs in the background, and I would say that this is somewhere near Midhurst, which was a town just eight miles away from where he came to, eventually came to live and to rest, I may say, because he's buried there as well. The other thing to say about it is that it's a very humble, perhaps not as simple as it looks, but it is fairly simple nonetheless, uh, painting, which he was you could almost say forced to do, because he had had a training at the Royal Academy in how to paint an Edwardian painting. And this was not really something that he wanted to do, that someone of his age wanted to do. So what he really had to do was to completely unlearn everything he'd been taught at the Academy and start again from the beginning. And this is an excellent example of what he started. These are the very, this is the very beginnings of Ivan Hitchin's art, you could say. He is in a place that he loved, painting it in as natural way and as personal a way as he possibly could. And I could also say that Ben Nicholson, who's just a year younger than uh, Hitchens, he had been, Nicholson had been trained at the Slade, Hitchens at the Royal Academy. Hitchens the painter, Nicholson more a draftsman, uh, quite different artists, but belonging to exactly the same generation and both faced with having to unlearn what they had been taught, simply because of when they were born and when they came to maturity. They had to divest themselves of a huge amount before they could begin to find their own language. And this is really just the very beginnings of trying to do that.